Have you ever been up super early? I mean like really early, like when it's all foggy outside and you can't really see anything, but you see something cool and you want to take a picture of it, and then when you get home you're like, oh man, that picture looks really crappy. Well, what if there was a magical way to fix that photo in Photoshop? Well, there is, and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. Hey, what's up guys? Justin Seeley here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be diving into Photoshop so that I can show you how to quickly and easily remove fog or haze from a photo. This could be something that you got up early in the morning to capture something inside of like a forest, or maybe you went to, let's say the Grand Canyon and it was a little hazy that day, anything like that. Or given the climate we live in now, just about anywhere you go could be hazy. And you might just want to kind of cut through some of that so that you can see the beauty of whatever it is that's behind it. Let's jump into Photoshop so I can show you how easy it is to do this. So in this photo here, there's not a lot of haze going on, but you can see the background is a little hazy and we might want to clean that up a little bit so that the deer is a little bit more silhouetted and also so we can see some of the foliage that's in the background. The easiest way to do that is by using the camera raw filter and applying it as a smart filter. Why do I want to apply it as a smart filter? Because that allows me to go back and forth between my original image and the altered image at any point in time. It also allows me to remove the fog now and add back in more fog later. I'll show you that trick in just a second. So first and foremost, let's right click on the background layer and let's choose convert to smart object. Once we do that, we're gonna go up here to the filter menu. We're gonna go down to camera raw. And once inside of camera raw, we're just going to go right here to dehaze. And if I want to remove the haze from behind the deer, what I'm going to do is click and drag this slider to the right. As I start to do that, you'll see dramatically the haze starts to lift from behind the deer and the foliage starts to come into focus. So something like plus 70 is a pretty good job. And if I show you here is a four after. Now the same could be said if you wanted to increase the amount of fog as well. But I'll show you how to do that in just a second. Let's go ahead and hit OK and commit. And that's going to remove the fog from the image, creating a nice silhouette of the deer and giving me a nice view of the foliage in the background. Now I said before that we did this as a smart object for one reason, that's flexibility. Well, let's say that I show this to someone, a client perhaps, and they're like, no, I don't like it. I want it to go back to the original. No problem. Just turn off the smart filter. The haze comes right back. Or Let's say the client comes in and says, no way, man, we want it to look like it was extremely foggy that morning, like it was really hard to see the deer. Oh, cool, no problem. Just go ahead and double click on the word camera raw. That's gonna open up the camera raw dialog box again. And instead of taking the slider to the right, click and drag that slider to the left. And that's gonna add in a whole lot of extra haze. Let's go to the opposite side, minus 70. And then let's hit okay. So now you take a look at that and it's like almost impossible to see the deer. We almost didn't see it, but walking through the haze was this deer and I was able to snap this magnificent photo. And so that's the kind of trickery you're able to do with just one simple slider in Photoshop. And that's it. So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope that you learned something. The next time you take a picture of a mountain or a tree or something outside and it's a little hazy, don't freak out about it. You can just bring that file right back into Photoshop, remove that haze, or even add a little haze to it to enhance the drama or enhance the beauty. Your call totally. In any case, thanks for joining me for this tutorial. Also, if you liked the video, be sure to drop a like below. If there's something you wanna see here on the YouTube channel, drop me a comment. Or if you have a question about this video, drop that below as well. And if you don't mind, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and also turn on notifications so that you can get a notification each and every time I post new content. Again, thanks for joining me today. Hope to see you again real soon.